Okay, we're live. Well, thank you guys for whoever's decided to join us today. Uh, this is the first episode where I'm going to start interviewing entrepreneurs, business owners, kind of get in their mindset to see why they got started, um, where they're going, maybe some things they might have changed along the way, and maybe some stuff that they had to demystify their beliefs to keep going with being an entrepreneur. So I have today with us uh, Kedrin, and Kedrin is a life coach. Kedrin, would you mind sharing with us a little bit about yourself and what you do? <sighs> That's a broad question, <laughs> but <laughs> I will. Okay, my name is Kedrin Patron. I am a life coach. I'm also a certified integrative nutrition health coach, a speaker, and an educator. So um, I am a mother of three and a wife. Um, and I spent a lot of years actually as a hairstylist for many years, right out of high school. Um, that was kind of like my primary career for 20 something years. Mm -hmm. So um, I enjoyed working with people. I loved, you know, making them feel better. And um, little did I know that that was going to kind of pave the way or um, my ability to connect with people. So that's kind of a, a great thing that sort of um, helped me as I, I came into life coaching. And I kind of fell into this. It wasn't like any purposeful thing. I did think about counseling, maybe getting into psychology because I thought that was a really interesting topic and I've always always loved that. So um, I did start taking some classes at Montco um, for that, but then I ended up having um, my son. So when I got pregnant, I was high risk preg pregnancy. So I ended up staying home, taking care of myself. And I ended up staying as a stay at home mom for like five years. And I had another son after um, um, my middle child. So I ended up, it was really cool because they kept trying to tell me through my last pregnancy that I had gestational diabetes and I really was not like buying that. I felt like well, my, my blood sugars are kind of borderline and I don't know that I'm really buying this. And so I did some investigating and I ended up, um, correcting my blood sugar on my own. Like I did research about how my body works and how my blood sugars work and all these things. And so that is how the little ball got rolling of me going into um, the Integrative Nutri Institute for Integrative Nutrition. So that's how I ended up there. I, it kind of pushed me to explore that avenue of um, the health field. And I kind of was trying to figure out what am I gonna do until I started hearing about coaching. And it was like this beautiful, partnership where it wasn't as far as counseling um but it also wasn't a government regulated um field like a registered dietitian or or something like that along those lines and i liked that it wasn't either i liked that it was somewhere in the middle and um so that's where it kind of started to get the ball rolling and i ended up um going to that school ended up getting my certification there and then I morphed that into life coaching. So I hope I didn't like totally <laughs> way off base. No, no. So, really so, so you do more than just life coach. You, you have a nutrition background where you can help people with their health. Yes. And, and what's funny is that I did start off. Well, here's what a lot of people don't understand. The school that I went to, it took a year for me to go through that schooling. It's the top. Um, considered one of the top nutrition schools in the country. Okay. So, um, and they have students internationally everywhere. So it's a very, very um, well renowned school. And what I loved about it was that I got more than I thought I was going to get. So, like, I went in there thinking I was going to focus a lot on health, nutrition, that type of thing. But really, what I got was life stuff. I got a lot of um, kind of asking a lot of questions and learning how to be curious about what's going on with you. And it wasn't just like food. It was, mm -hmm. it was about your life. And so <clears throat> that's why I came out of it really loving what I learned because it was so much more than that. And the reason why I started shifting my, my, um, I don't, I don't want to say title cause I'm not crazy about that word, that phrase, but, um, I, I kind of shifted my title into life coach because it's a little bit easier for people to understand when you say certified integrative nutrition health coach, like that's a mouthful and people don't always get what that means. They hear nutrition, they hear health and they just think that's all you're about. 
But integrative nutrition actually refers to everything that fuels your body, your mind, your spirit, your career, your relationships, all these things kind of go together. So you can't fix a health problem unless you figure out all the other stuff in your life that's going on along with it. So it is an, a, a whole life kind of approach, if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So you're able to bring more. Now you got some feedback, but. Oh, I do? Yeah. I'm hearing it on my end. Speaking. Sorry. Okay. Good. Better? That's better. Okay. A little bit better. Okay. So anyways, um, so you're able to bring more to the table with just saying that you're a life coach. Uh, that that's a re that's really good. So can you explain a little bit what a life coach actually does then? Yeah. Um. For me, actually, um, because I, you know, I don't really compare myself to other life coaches, or I try not to. So I don't know what their approach typically is. But what I try to do is, um, really, it's just a conversation, like what you and I are having right now. I would you know, ask you, what are your challenges? What are your goals in life? What's coming up for you, maybe as a pattern that we need to break through? Mm -hmm. um, how can we overcome that? So it's really about me being super curious about what's going on in your life. Um, like if you were my client, I would wanna say like, what's going on in your life? How can we tackle this? And I ask you questions because sometimes until we say things out loud, we don't really know what's holding us back. We can't pinpoint it. But when you're talking with someone and they can pull that out of you and you can kind of become very aware, that's one of the big things that I work on is helping people to become extremely aware of what's going on in their brain. What kind of negative thoughts are they repeatedly telling themselves that they can get rid of? Um, how can we um, you know, come against that and change that? Because really, once we learn something in our brain, it's like, we have to retrain our brain to think differently. Like if you've grown up your whole life telling yourself, I'm a loser, I'm not good enough, you're going to kind of keep continually telling yourself that's going to become a belief system. So my goal is to help people break through those negative belief systems and create new positive belief systems that are actually true about themselves. Do you see like a common uh, reason for why people reach out for a life coach? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. You know, I think um, for the most part, most people are feeling stuck. If I could kind of sum it up, I think they're feeling stuck. Like maybe like they're spinning their wheels. They're not really getting anywhere. Um, or they have all these dreams and goals and they can never seem to like accomplish them. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of, I guess, if I could sum it up quickly, that's what it would be. Okay. Yeah. So you're there to help push them along and get moving in life with whatever issues they have. Exactly. So it's not, there's no like book or workbook that I'm using or any kind of like a, a sheet that I'm like spouting off questions or following. It's really guided by them. It's very, very highly individualized to them and what they need and the help that they're looking for. That's good. Yeah. And so, so if somebody was to go out, like say I was going to go out and look for a life coach, uh, is there some way you would recommend me trying to find that one right life coach that I should be working with? Mm, I think, you know, um, most coaches will offer a free consultation. So I always recommend, cause look, not, not all people are meant to connect with each other. You know, um, just like when you meet someone, you find, Oh, I, I really connected with that person. I like that person there. I like their person. You may meet someone else where you're like, Oh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> you're just like, no, nope, that's, that's not gonna work. So you just there's those people that you just can't really connect with. And so I would encourage anyone that is interested in in finding a life coach or being curious about getting a life coach, reach out, ask if they provide a free consultation or a mm -hmm. free coaching initial session um, that you can kind of find out what they're about. Like I would want someone to actually spend time with me first, get to know what I do, my personality what my approach is like, because each coach is going to have a different approach. So if they find out what my approach is or another coach is, and they like that and that resonates with them and aligns with them, that's who I would say they should go with. So I would say try different people, maybe get a couple consultations or check people out first, see if that resonates with you before making a decision. Yeah, that's good. So maybe go through maybe three people or so. Kind yeah. Of Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would pick someone who just really, you feel like 
they're picking out stuff about you that, and it may sound ridiculous, but if someone, the best way to learn is when someone points out something to you that might be hard. Mm -hmm. Like if I say to you, hey, John, you really need to work on X, Y, Z. And you're like, Ugh. yeah, you're right. Like it's, it's kind of like that hard truth that you don't always really want to hear, but you know, you kind of need to hear it. If you find someone like that, that's someone who, or, or that at least challenges you and questions you. I like to challenge people mm -hmm. and question them and get really curious about what's going on with them. And that usually helps really draw things out. So it just kind of depends on, you know, that's where I think the most awareness comes from personally, but it has to be in alignment with who you are as a person. Right. Yeah. And I got some of that when I joined some of your groups back in October, just to see what it was like. And uh, yeah, you dug in a little deeper. It was only like an hour, but yeah, it makes you think a little bit of what you should be doing. And like you said, usually you already have the answer, but uh, yeah, finding that person, like you said, the coach that can push you a little bit and uh -huh. you can start realizing that you know the answer and you can do it. You yes. Know, you just, just got to do it. Yeah. yeah. And if I can expound on that a little bit, you made a really yep. great point because um, we do all innately have the answers already. We, we know it. Sometimes we need someone else, just like your best friend might be able to point out certain things to you. Um, but what's cool about having a coach is that your coach is objective. They don't mm -hmm. have that best friend thing happening where they're trying to maybe soften it or or maybe cushion it a little more than what you should have or just anything like that. This gives you that objective person, but that person who's never going to judge you. It's a safe space. So you never have to worry about it being shared with anyone else. It's it's kind of that all encompassing, like I'm your biggest cheerleader, but I'm also going to be your biggest pusher. So I'm going to be pushing but I'm going to be learning about you because the more I learn about you, the more I can help you see and like question yourself, teach you how to do it for yourself so that you can find those answers within you. Gotcha. Yeah. And so let's say you were my coach. What, what we, we would normally meet once a week or talk once a week, you know, is that what you normally? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's pretty much how it works. I always ask for a six month commitment because the six month commitment I think is, just the basis of what is needed to really get to know someone and get to kind of working on some, some good issues. Mm -hmm. um, so I ask for that. And I also ask for a, a once a week meeting and sessions are about an hour long. Okay. Yeah. And six months is a good, good amount of time for somebody to start making a move and start making a change in their lives. I could see that. Cause you know, I think habits, you could change, I don't know. They, they say what seven weeks or something like that. Yeah. I, I can't remember for sure, but I hear it. It's all different. Everybody does a study on it or something, but uh, yeah. you know, six months is a good stretch to actually make a change in your life. And you had that momentum to keep it going. Hopefully thereafter. Yeah. I like yeah, that. I, I agree with that. And it, it's because it, you know, and it's not just that it's, it's, it's learning. You're retraining your brain to think mm -hmm. differently, to think differently than what you've been, kind of taught or believed into thinking your and usually it's it's whole life patterns that we've learned that we've cultivated over time that need retraining and so it doesn't happen overnight it has to happen gradually and that awareness builds you know it's not like you just have this light bulb moment where some people do but it's not like you have this light bulb moment and suddenly everything in your life just falls into place and changes and you're suddenly like this you know, yeah. super successful. everything is perfect person. It doesn't work that way. We're always learning and growing. And so that, that awareness just builds, you know, thing after thing after thing. And that's the beauty of that. Right. And you know, getting away from like negativity, you know, the people around you that bring it down, you know, that's, that's a big thing. So, you know, meeting people like yourself, you know, it gives me a positive uplift, you know, um, you definitely want to go out there and help others. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's this or something else, you know, and that's, that's a great thing for people to get out of that negativity mindset uh -huh. and start thinking differently. Thank uh, you. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you, you became an entrepreneur, you kind of said why, you know, you went to school to, to learn about the stuff you did, uh, to help, you know, your health and stuff. And now you're teaching others and helping them. So, uh, what beliefs or anything that 
might have come along your way that you ha- might have to mystify to keep going with what you're doing as being an entrepreneur. Uh, I know we all struggle every once in a while and there's there's negativity out uh, people out there that might say you can't do that or why would you do that? Is there something that you can think of that you might have had to make a change in your mind to keep moving? Um, yeah, I actually because when I first started out, you know, my certification is as a health coach, integrated nutrition health coach. And, you know, there are a lot of health coaches out there nowadays. And Mm -hmm. so um, people, it's very easy to get confused. Um, When people hear integrated nutrition health coach, it's such a mouthful that they don't really understand. So trying to explain to them that it's not just about nutrition, it's not just about what you eat. I'm not just gonna, that's that's not gonna be all we talk about. Um, Because it's so much more, like if you think of how Somebody could go on this radical diet and drop 300 pounds or however much. Well, they could be super happy that they lost weight. Maybe there's a lot of other stuff going on in their life that they haven't even addressed. So sometimes people lose all this weight and they're still not happy. And they're like, why am I still not happy? Because you didn't address all the other stuff to go along with it. So what I realized very quickly was that my coaching, I knew going into it that it wasn't just about health. It wasn't just about food. Um, and people that were coming signing on with me also very quickly realized it wasn't just about food it was about all the aspects of their life so i realized like people were losing the translation of what i was trying to get across of what i do so that is why i shifted over to the title life coach because it was very easy for people to understand so i love that i have that duality of health coach and life coach because i can um, help people in both areas so it is all encompassing so i do get people that come to me with their primary issue with weight but they also understand that they're getting the whole life picture and that makes it a little bit easier um so that did give me a little push in because i was kind of feeling like oh i just want to give up like this is so frustrating yeah Uh, because people don't understand they automatically think that i'm with some kind of a diet program and I would have to constantly explain that's not what I do. Um, so that was kind of frustrating for me. It, it, you know, for a while, I was kind of like, oh, I'm so tired of explaining this. <laughs> but um, <laughs> once I started utilizing Life Coach, people started understanding. So now they understand better that I do both. And it did give me a boost in my business. It gave me a boost in um, just people having that clarity about what I do so that they can either recommend me or, Maybe if they want to use my services or whatever. So that, that's that been helpful. That gave me a um, little momentum. Yeah. And you have it both with the health and the, and the life part. It's definitely an edge on the competition out there. You can definitely uh, say, I, I'm a life coach, but, you know, I can help you with the health easily mm-hmm. with the certification. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's good. Um, so I want to ask you a quick question here. Um, I'm a believer in goals and performing each day, you know, a little bit to get these goals done, you know, whether it's a three, three month goal or a one year goal, whatever it decides to be. So you have to take little stuff to get there. Right. So what do you do each day to get the most important tasks done first? So this is a really good question. So my life is pretty, um, my schedule is pretty challenging because I still have a part-time job. Mm -hmm. So I have a couple days a week in there that I'm working and then I have coaching clients (laughs) sometimes during the day, sometimes at night. Um, and then I'm, I have kids, I have small kids, so I'm fitting that in and then I'm still a wife. I'm still, you know, managing the house and stuff. So it's like, it's a lot. So I have to be very careful about how I schedule my time. So this may sound a little bit weird, but one of the main things that I do focus on is sticking to, it sounds maybe dumb, but sticking to a schedule. So just me sticking to the schedule that I've laid out, it sounds like a silly goal, but mm-hmm. if I've stuck to that schedule, then I feel much better because I feel like I've accomplished all the things that I'm aiming to accomplish. And um, it helps me. So it takes off that feeling of, oh, I got to cram this in. I got to cram that in. So I take time every week to plan out my week. I take time, like one time a week, I, I plan out my, my week coming up. And then I try very hard to just stick to that. Because if I just stick to that plan, it's like one goal. If I stick to that plan, then things get done. I feel confident. I feel like I've accomplished all the things that I want to in that day. Yep. So does that make sense? It makes sense. Yeah. And something to share. I've been starting to 
each night, get ready for the next day. Uh, you know, and I had to prepare for something like this. So I had to, you know, write down what I'm going to do for the next day, but I did it last night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so that, yeah. So then you're ready to go and you can get your most important test. So the, the schedule is definitely a big thing. Yeah. Um, because knowing what I'm doing every day yep. makes me, it takes the second guessing out. And then if I do happen to have a little bit extra time that I didn't think I was going to have to do something or get another, an extra thing done, then I can do it. But right. at, as right. long as I stick to those things, then because number one, I'm not overloading myself. That's a big thing that I've learned that I was doing mm -hmm. that I've had to be very, that's one of the reasons why scheduling for me is super important because I don't want to overload myself. <laughs> I want to like actually be able to have time that I can enjoy, spend enough time with my boys and that type of thing. So um, that's why the scheduling is important for me yeah. because I'm not overbooking myself. Right. I totally agree with that. Yeah. No, thank you. Um, so I want to go into real quick, uh, ask you a few things about your uh, core coaching group you got. You got a Facebook group. Uh, I, I know I'm in there and I know a bunch of other people that we both know are in there as well. But could you just share a little bit what that does, what it could provide to the listeners that are out there? Sure. Um, so along with my business page, I have a private Facebook group and it's called the core coaching group. So you have to, um, you can, you can be invited to it. I've invited many of my friends on Facebook and then the members that come in then will invite their friends and so on. So what that group is about actually is I'm kind of providing like a little taste of what coaching might be like with me. Um, so I know it's online, so it's of course not as personable as talking with someone one on one. But it just gives um, what I'm trying to offer is just to to help people because I do want to just genuinely help people. So I try to come up with fun things. Um, like right now, for the month of January, I am doing um, what's called the 180 challenge. And um, you know, we, when we say, "Oh, the person did a 180," you're just talking about a, a full turnaround. And I was just trying to, what I do is I do a question of the day to get things off and started off in the morning. And it's just really meant to get you to think. It's not like you're trying to solve all your problems with one question, you know, but it's, it's what it's meant to do is it's meant to just get your awareness level up of maybe what are you thinking? How do you think about this particular issue? Is it negative? Is it positive? What could you improve on? What could you learn about it? Um, so it's really just meant to help people um stir things up and get them thinking get them curious about themselves um and get them asking themselves why do i feel this way how can i make that better you know like that type of thing so in one of challenge i have like um themed weeks so like the first week was health week the second week um was time management and this week is passion and purpose week so and then i just kind of post things throughout the rest of the day that are in aligned with that theme so I just try to do things that make it fun. I do some random lives, um, just trying to encourage people, give them a taste of what coaching might be like. And then it helps them get to know me a little bit about what I do and how my coaching method is so that they can kind of, um, you know, just get some help and encouragement. Cause I think there can't be enough of that in the world right now. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. So yeah. you have to be invited in. So if somebody's listening to this and, they don't know anybody that's in that group. So how, how would they be able to get involved? Well, they can find the group and they can okay. ask to be a part of the group, even if they're not like okay. a friend of mine or a friend of a member, they can still find the group. It's publicly available, but you do have to ask to join it. Does that make sense? So it's okay. like, you have to ask a couple, you know, I always have a couple questions in there, So mm -hmm. you can be, you can um, ask like, Hey, I want to request to join your group. And then you answer the questions and then ultimately I approve the membership. Gotcha. Um, right. yeah, you can still find it. It's public. It's a publicly okay. located group. All right. I thought it was an invite only where if you knew somebody you had to. Yeah. I'm sorry if I, um, I, if I, <laughs> that oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah. And I, I, I'm a member of the group and I do see a lot of great content through there and a lot of people commenting and uh, some people are asking questions. So where it goes from outside of that, but I'm sure that, you know, you're, you go one-on-one -on -one with the client brings a lot more value than what the group has, you know, and I see the group as a way to, like you said, um, 
bring things back up again in your mind that you probably didn't think about for a while. Uh, maybe you make a small change in your life because you read a post or somebody made a comment and you reach out to them. Maybe, maybe they know something too. Uh, yeah. but I, I have seen it grow. Um, it's been only what, two months maybe. Yeah. About two right? months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's, it's, I don't know where it's at now. Last time I saw it was getting close to a hundred, if not over. It was um, close. Yeah. Getting there. <laughs> getting but, there. Yeah, yeah. Definitely check that out if you're not already a member. And I also have, uh, I'm going to post up her uh, other stuff here. So this is, get. feel free to talk about uh, the information here. You got your email, you got oh, Facebook yes. page. I, yep, my email is there. And then I have my um, my Facebook page. And the same uh, information for my Facebook page is the same for Instagram too. Coaching with Adrian, I'm on Instagram also. And then my website is there too. And my website, I, I really keep it pretty basic. You know, people, I think, sometimes put so much information on their websites that it's like over overwhelmed. <laughs> kind of like there's a lot of stuff. So I just try to keep it really simple. Um, and, and like I said, the group um, is a great way to just kind of get a little more in-depth understanding about what I do. <clears throat> and the reason why I specified just to go back just a teensy bit about it being private mm-hmm. is because I want people to understand that only members in the group see the posts. So like, let's say, John, let's just use you an example. <laughs> let's sure. say um, you, I ask a question and maybe it, it has, it brings up something about like, I don't know, your mom or whatever, and you don't want her to see it, but you want to be able to share freely your thoughts on it. Maybe you're mm-hmm. struggling with it and you want to ask me a question or whatever. She won't see that unless she's in the group. So that's why I say it's private. So it's a safe space for people to share stuff that only members of the group will share. It's not like it's public for every single Facebook member in the world to see, you know, gotcha. that, yeah, it right, makes right. a little more yeah, sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I agree. So, yeah. Thank you for sharing all that. So yeah, if you, and I always offer, I just want to put this out there too. I always offer a free talk. Um, you know, if anybody's interested in life coaching and they just want to see what it's about, they want to see what I'm about, um, what my methods are like, I always offer a free initial chat. Um, and it's just like this, just one-on-one chatting and just kind of finding out about you and, and, um, you know, learning about what your needs are and just going from there. Great. Thank you. Well, I just want to say that, uh, thank you for whoever is watching. Uh, I'll see if I'm going to check to see if there's any, I got a like or whatever, but yeah, I don't know if I could tell, but, uh, so I appreciate you guys watching this and this video will be left in the life life's checkmark group. I'm going to go for three days and then I'm going to broadcast outside of that to YouTube. It could go to other Facebook pages, whatever. And then you guys can go ahead and share it with whoever you decide to share it with. Uh, I do have uh, another one coming up for next week and I'm working on scheduling more the week thereafter. And, you know, feel free to drop in. If you know anybody else that wants to join uh, life's check Mark, just send it out there. So you can share this broadcast after, after it goes out in three days and then uh, feel free to invite more people. Thank you, Kedrin. It was great talking to you. It's always a pleasure. I feel so honored. I'm like the first (laughs) guinea pig. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it's it's great. Now this is good. This is fun. It was a little under 30 minutes. Yeah, perfect. You know, we got to know everything you do. You're a little bit about your mindset, how you keep going. uh, And this is, this is how we're going to do it. So thank you again for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. Have a great day. All right. You too.